Well, earlier this year, we lost a great American. I lost a great personal friend when COVID-19 took the life of businessman, political commentator, and presidential candidate Herman Cain. One of his last projects was a documentary on his amazing and his inspiring life. Here to talk about it are Herman Cain's daughter, Dr. Melanie Cain Gallo, and the filmmaker of From Poor to CEO, The Incredible Journey of Herman Cain, Barry Tolley. Good to have you both here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Melanie, I'm going to begin with you, and I just want to tell you, I love your dad. Oh, I love that you. man. Thank what you a so much. great human being. He was so much fun to be around. He was. He was, and he was always like that. Was he, <laughs> he was always fun. telling stories when you were growing up? Yes, sometimes more than we asked. <laughs> but he was. Boy, that's an honest daughter if I've ever heard one. What is, is there one thing that your dad just said over and over and over that sticks deep inside of you as one of those great character lessons? Um, he always just told us not to ever give up. If something would come up that we, you know, thought we couldn't figure out or get past, well, what are you going to do to solve it? What's going to be your solution? Mm. Come up with a plan. Come up with a solution. So I think that's the thing that, you know, in terms of work and those types of things, obviously relying on prayer yeah. and God. He was a spiritual man. He I was mean, very I, spiritual. What I loved about him, he loved the Lord. This is a guy that wasn't just... A, ch a Sunday church Christian. No, no. He, he was every day. Yes. Every day. Yes. Barry, what, what drew you to Herman Cain's wonderful, and it is a wonderful story. Yeah. Well, the man himself. Uh, once I finally got to meet him and just experience, like you said, his charisma, uh, the way he loved everybody, and the way he was just so magnetic, and he was like gravity, you know, he was one of those people. So, I knew about his story. I knew about his accomplishments, or some of them. Yeah. And I had the same, you know, preconceived notions that I thought I knew the man, you know, his politics, like you said, his business success. And then when I met him, he was just so charismatic. And I was just so blown away by his love for everybody that he came in contact with. Like you said, yeah. he just mm -hmm. was on all the time. And it was uh, just a love for human beings and people. And it didn't matter where you came from, everybody. You know, I, I want to show a little clip because I love this piece, and it's part of the film from the documentary. This is from the film on Herman Cain's life. He had this southern draw. Herman Cain, you can be anything you want to be. You just might have to work a little harder, and you might have to work a little longer. He was right. Mr. Johnson's words echoed in my brain forever. Whenever I was in a situation that seemed to have gotten tough, I, I heard those words, you might have to work a little harder, and you might have to work a little longer. So I worked a little harder, and I worked a little longer in every job I ever had because of Mr. Johnson's inspiration. Mm -hmm. I love that. You may have to work a little harder, you may have to work a little longer. Right. And your dad did both of those things because he had to. He grew up a black man, from a family out of sheer poverty. Right. And a lot of people would have pushed him down and said, you can't be beyond where you are. But he proved him wrong. That's right. That's right. He didn't, he didn't believe that and can't. <laughs> what were his parents that. like? What, what did they do to give him that kind of courage and that sense of go get it? They practiced what they preached. I mean, mm. he wasn't the first one to in his family to... Um, have that type of drive and determination. He saw his parents and my, my grandfather. He was the same way. You know, if you, you run into an obstacle, figure out a way to get past it. Figure out a solution. Find your way to whatever it is that you're trying to reach. And so he was basically doing what he saw. Barry, I want you to just tell me, when people watch the documentary mm -hmm. on Herman Cain, yeah. what is it you hope they take away personally from it? how special he was and how much he truly did love everybody, that they have preconceived notions. They think they know him, you know, yeah. just like I kind of thought I knew him. But you don't until there's so many layers. There's just so many layers, and he's so special. So I'd want him to see that he was a great human being that loved everybody, truly loved everybody. He had his views, of course he did, but he had those for a reason, and he didn't hold anything against anybody else for having other views. And I want them to go into it and see... Again, he has this work ethic, an incredible family, and he didn't, he never asked for anything. He only worked for it and, and went and uh, accomplished so many things through his work ethic. Well, I just want to say again, 
I loved your dad. Thank you. Thank you so much. A great, great man. And this world is better because Herman Cain walked on this planet and spread his love and his joy. And he did both. He did both. Thank you. I want to thank you both for being here. Thank you. I want to thank you for making this wonderful film. And I want Keith to tell all of our viewers where they can see it because I know you're going to want to. Well, from poor to CEO, the incredible journey of Herman Cain is available for download and on DVD. For more information, go to HermanCainMovie.com.